As Tuesday's midterms approach, Georgia Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker is going after Senator Raphael Warnock on the issue of crime. He don't support our police. Well, I do. Criminals now think they're more powerful than our police, and I said, not on my watch. Herschel Walker's wrong for Georgia, and I think uh, people all across this state, Democrats, Republicans, and Independents, can see it. In Pennsylvania, Dr. Mehmet Oz has been arguing that illegal drugs and violent crime are plaguing the state. Where he's up against Democrat John Fetterman. We have families all over the Commonwealth worried about crime, so much so they won't send their kids outside. In recent days, Fetterman has been focusing on high inflation, gripping the U.S. and pointing some blame at corporate America. But I think it's even much more critical to uh, push back against the kind of the kind of the corporate greed and the price gouging as well. True. Oprah Winfrey took some by surprise when she announced she backs Fetterman for Senate even though she paved the way for Oz's rise to daytime TV celebrity. If Fetterman wins, Republicans would still need to win at least two pivotal races in Georgia, Nevada, or Arizona to take control of the Senate. So far, more than 35 million Americans have voted early, either by mail or in person, according to the United States Elections Project. Democrats are feeling very encouraged by that because, you know, the, the larger the turnout, the better it is for Democrats. Friday, President Biden spoke at a Southern California communications company that stands to benefit from Biden's push to get more chips made in America. The president was joined by Representative Mike Levin, who's seeking re-election in a tight U.S. House race. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Last night, former President Trump once again signaled his intent to jump back into the 2024 presidential race. According to CNN, the official declaration could come on November 14th, shortly after the midterms. Campaign spending for next week's elections has set a new record for the midterm cycle. It's projected to top $16.7 billion across federal and state races, including ballot measures. That's according to Open Secrets, a nonpartisan group that tracks the money. Experts say one big factor is the number of key open congressional seats up for grabs. This cycle, we saw a huge leap in spending during the primaries. Well, issues have also attracted big dollars this midterm season, especially after the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe versus Wade.